Suppose I have heavy dumbbell and loaded gun kept horizontal such that lowest part of dumbbell and lowest part of bullet inside the gun are at same height. Now if dumbbell is released and at the same time bullet is fired horizontally then which object will hit the ground first? You can pause the video for some time and think on it. To find out the answer, let us consider small demonstration. As practically it is not possible to use gun and dumbbell for demonstration, I am using these two objects. Similar to the bullet and dumbbell, these two objects have different mass, size and shape. I will try to project these two objects horizontally. For that, I will put heavy object at the edge of the table and second object just beside it. Now I will push this object or flick it. This object will try to move forward. Due to collision, large object will get very small velocity in this direction and smaller object will get large velocity in this direction. So both objects will get different horizontal velocities. Let's take a look. So two objects shown are placed here and horizontal velocity will be given to them. I will show this experiment in slow motion for proper observation. So from observation both objects hit ground simultaneously. Why did it happen? There are two important concepts to understand this. First, acceleration due to gravity. It is independent of mass of object. So for dumbbell and bullet, acceleration due to gravity is same. Second, vectors. It is quantity having magnitude as well as direction. Let us try to understand one of the most important property of vectors. In coordinate system, let a vector be any vector whose x component is ax and y component is ay. Now if I increase ax that is x component of a vector then original vector will change but vertical component of vector will remain as it is. Let us observe one more time if I again change x component of vector original vector will change but y component will remain as it is. This is important property of vector. Let us consider the situation again. Initially, bullet and dumbbell are at same height from ground. As dumbbell is at rest, its initial velocity is zero and acceleration due to gravity is in downward direction. Hence, using kinematical equation s equals to ut plus half at square, we can calculate time taken to reach the ground. That is t equals to under root twice h by g. Now let us consider scenario for bullet. Before firing, bullet was at rest. As gun is pointing in horizontal direction, bullet will gain horizontal velocity when fired. As we know, perpendicular vectors are independent of each other, hence vertical component of velocity of bullet remains zero. And as acceleration due to gravity is independent of mass of object, it will remain same. So, we can use same kinematical equation to calculate time taken by bullet to reach the ground. Again it is t equals to under root twice gh. Thus, we can say that time taken by both the objects to reach the ground is same. So next time, if you see cop firing a bullet horizontally, you can easily find out effective time of bullet by just dropping the object from same eye. If you have any questions write in the comment section below and hey! Don't forget to subscribe.